Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to install your Xbox One gamepad on your PC. Be aware this is a temporary solution, so don't expect it to work 100%, but it, it does work for now until Microsoft can release the proper drivers. So let's open the device manager by right clicking here on the start menu on Windows 8 or by going to onto the control panel on device manager on, on Windows 7 device manager. Now you can plug in your Xbox One gamepad. My, pr my app right now supports up to 16 gamepads so you can just go and plug in every gamepad you have that you want to test. You see here we have now two controllers because I plugged in my two gamepads and they are not installed because they don't have compatible drivers for this device so you have to click update driver click on browse my, browse my computer for driver so software and go let me pick from the list of device drivers on my computer you go all the way down and get universal serial bus drive devices click next and you get win usb device this is a Windows driver that actually makes the device open for developers to access it and send and receive data from it. So just click next. It will say it's not recommended because this is a general driver. It works for any device. You throw it here. So you just click yes and close. And do the same for the other gamepad too. You click on Browse My Computer for Driver. Let me pick Universal Cerebus, Win USB. Next, yes, close, close. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is install VJoy. As you can see on the unpacked gamepad files, I have I've bundled VJoy and LibUSB, which we'll be installing later. You have to install VJoy, which is a gamepad emulator. You just click next. You don't need the VJoy feeder, but you do need the configurator because I didn't make a, a pre configuration. Oh, okay, it's already installed on my PC, but I'm just reinstalling it. As you can see, my system already detected the gamepads. So we can go ahead and open the VJoy app. The VJoy app can be found on the program files, VJoy, VJoy Conf. And now the default configuration for the gamepads. The configuration you have to use is just the same I'm going to do here. It has X, Y, and Z, R, RZ, and Rudder, X, RX, RY, 13 buttons. And here is the target device. For every gamepad you have, you have to set it here. So for example, I have two gamepads. I'm gonna hit ap apply. I heard a noise, Windows already detected. So I'm gonna go now to target device two and hit apply with all these configurations. And now I just have to close it. You can check it on the, on the gamepad panel, which you can find here in control panel. You can type joy and get set you set up USB game controllers and on this case on my PC I have three gamepads just to, to test out but I don't have a third gamepad but you can see here I will remove the third by going here on free and delete device and hit apply and you can see now I have only the one and the two and they're both here so I'm just gonna hit OK I'm going to close this window and now I'm going to install libusb.net. Just accept it. The both these file both these installers don't have adware, so just easily to install. You don't need the source and the simple code. And you can see they already are installed on my system. And you need to check this out. This is the filter capabilities. You need that to work. And now this is really 
perfect for us now you can let it launch the filter installer wizard and you can click here install device filter and you'll find these two win usb devices which are your gamepads just hit install ok win usb install ok and now just you just open my app it takes some time to open but it's here you can it supports up to 16 gamepads i don't have 16 gamepads to test and i wouldn't have a reason to have 16 gamepads but i'm pretty sure it will work but i also don't have a reason to have 16 gamepads connected to my pc you can see here with additional gamepads but i guess 16 is a little overkill As you can see here, by clicking on the trigger button checkbox, the LT and RT are not treated also as a button, which doesn't have pressure sensitivity. You just press it and it's a button now. This can help you with in many old games that don't support these LT and RT that are pressure sensitive. So there's that. To use my app with extra 360 CE, you just have to open my app, wait for it to open, it's up, everything's here. So you go back, you can see the configuration file, it shows me you how I configured my gamepad, but I'm gonna show you how I've done on video. Here it will ask you to, add, to create the X input DLL. So you just hit X and it will detect your gamepad. Just let it search the internet, search everywhere. You won't find anything, but let it let it do its thing. You just hit finish and it stopped working. To make it work properly on Windows 8, you have to run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7 and run this program as an administrator. So let's see if it works now. Vanish. Oh, it did work. So you can see here, nothing is pretty good. So I'm just gonna hit my configuration. Let me see if the first gamepad is working. The first gamepad works just fine. For you that don't know, X36 CE is an Xbox 360 gamepad emulator, so you can use alternate gamepads that work just like an Xbox 360 one would in games. So trigger, you get access free. Bumper, you get button 5. Back, you get button 7. Start, you get button 8. I don't know what for guide, because it just doesn't work. Button 15, what the fuck? That's that's actually button eleven. Nope, still doesn't work. Okay, so we get the guide, which is at button eleven. The D pad, you just hit D pad, D pad one. And now you see if the axis matches. It's already matching on mine. So it's X axis one and axis two, and the stick button is button nine. And here I have an inverted access five. So you go to access inverted I access five. So it works great. Stick button is button 10. The trigger on the right is access six. The bumper is button six. Y is button four. X button three. The B button is button 2 and the A button is button 1.
So we can just hit save. We can test it around a bit. See if it works. And it works just fine. Just I've been having some issues with the D-pad. But for now I'm just going to release it. As people are really really wanted this driver. So I'll maybe uh, fix it. But just give me some time. Okay, just hit save, and now you can use this DLL. You can insert it, this and X3A on, the, on on the game's folder, and it probably will work with the gamepad. You can use these other DLLs too. Just search around for X3360CA because it it's way easier to use it than using the actual gamepad from VJoy. So that's it for today. Until next time.